guys, Calvin here. Thank you for tuning up for some more updating dashboards on JTAG, RGH, or um, uh, RJTAG. So, um, as you can see over here, I'll be providing you with everything um, in one zip file. Actually, I've downloaded uh, different of them here, but I'll put them in one zip file for you, or RAR, whatever you prefer. And yeah, I'll get you. Uh, let's start with the video. So first, we want to make sure um, to check if you have a. Um, let me uh, show you if you have a Xbox Slim or lower than an Xbox Slim, which means that you have an Elite or uh, Arcade or something. But um, if you have a Slim, uh, Flash 360 won't work. So you need Simple NAND Flasher 103. As you can see over here, this link will be in the description. And uh, you can download it over here if you want to. There's the download button. Just click on it and it'll start downloading. Now what you mean to do is plug in a USB or you can do this via neighborhood. But I think USB is much more uh, safer than uh, via the internet. So as you can see over here, create a new folder which you can call 165 no 756 yeah create a folder which is called uh this uh because that's the dashboard which you're going to be updating to double tap to open it and then uh, drag your raw file into here okay now you want to hit an extract here now you can wait for this to load and as you can see over here is everything that you need and now you can delete the raw file if you want to So this tutorial only works for slims, but you can also use the file if you know how to flash your NAND. It's actually the same, so I'll be showing you it right now. So you want to make sure that you press the um, uh, open disk button on your Xbox console. This only works for JTAG and you can get your uh, DVD key and CPU key. This will take very long to boot up because it's an RGA. As you can see, there it goes in a second, probably. I hope it gets up, because it's already on my TV. So yeah, there we go, it's now loading. And here are your few sets. Wait a second, I can't show you them. But uh, you will see your CPU key, uh, and you have to make a picture of it, or save it. But you should get a screen looking like this. Just can't show you because it's all safe. Once you've copied it, you can turn off your Xbox. So now we have the simple NAND flasher on our USB. And you can now safely remove your USB and plug it into your JTAG. So to do that, right click here and then hit on eject. Just stick it into your Xbox and it'll work. Now just normally boot up your Xbox and wait for it to load up. So there we go, it booted up. Make sure you sign into a profile. And um, if you do not have XZX menu yet, you can just download it from the link in the description. But I'm sure that everybody has uh, that installed on your JTAG or RGH. Now you want to open up XZX menu. First of all, I'm going to be showing you that I'm on 1.6. No, I'm not even on 1.6. I want a really low uh, version. So, um, there we go. Here's our dashboard version. 1.6.1.9.7.0. So, that's low. We're going to be updating it. Um, let me see. Here's recents. And open up XZX menu. Now you can just uh, explore for your um, disk width, pressing RB and then moving your D-pad to the left and right to find your um, actual update and USB. Ah, 
as you can see over here is my folder i'll open it up and here's my 360 nano flasher because it is on uh slim and not lower so i have to use this run it there we go okay my cpu key as you can see is over there but i'll uh censor it out so yeah um press x to dump your nan just press x now you can wait for this to load Okay, I'll pause the video and uh, come back when it's so it's nearly finished it's now on my TV already at 100% there we go our NAND is dumped now you can press any button I'm going to hit A there we go we're back on the dash now you can unplug your USB now you can just simply go to your desktop and open up your uh, folders that I gave you as you can see here in the downloads is XE build. Um, I will open up my uh, mods folder to put it in. There we go. Now you can just um, extract it to XE build. Just wait a second. Uh, scroll up to find the folder. Uh, there we go. Open it up. There it is again. And uh, now you can just run it. Okay, as you can see here is the source file. Now you want to uh, open up and go to your USB flash drive. There it is. Go to your folder that, it, that we created. Simple C60 NAND flasher. And select this. You can just wait. And as you can see here is everything. Make sure everything is correct. Get from CPU key.txt. Here's my CPU key. And make sure your kernel version is on the latest kernel that is 756. And now you can make sure that everything is checked. Now you can click generate hacked image. And it will now start to do everything and wait for a pop up to load. There we go. And do you want to close the program? Yes, clear the log. No, I'll leave it this way. Cancel. Okay. Uh, now you can just go to your uh, USB drive again. Once you're on your USB drive, um, make sure you make a backup of your um, flash dmp.bin. So I'm going to just drag it to my desktop. I'm going to delete it. Oh, I deleted the wrong file. Make sure you delete this file. There we go. Has been deleted. And now we can unplug our uh, thing, flash drive, and eject it. Now you can eject it. And I'm going to be going back onto my xbox so open up here once you are on your xbox you can uh, open it up wait a second maybe i can put this on full screen no i don't need to so we can go to recent again open the xcx menu there's a bit of a delay but i hope you don't care um now you can open up the folder again oh wait a second yes open up the folder click here wait a second again now we can go ahead and run default.xdx. Make sure you delete it, the other file, and now run it. Press A if you want to flash your NAND. Press B if you want to save flash your NAND, uh, dump, and write. I um, think I'm just going to hit A. Or oh, save flash. Yeah, I'm going to save flash. 
Now just wait until it's loaded. Okay. And after you've done this, unplug every single cable from your JTAG, RGH, or RJTAG. And make sure you have unplugged anything, everything I mean, and then wait like a minute or 30 seconds. I recommend a minute because uh, it's easier and yeah, it's now it's 84% on my TV. And there we go, NAND dumped, completed after 44 seconds, press start to flash your NAND. Yes, I want to flash it. Yes, I want to flash it, press start. It's now at 90%, it's written. It's now going to be rebooting. Make sure you turn your device off. I plugged out every cable and now we can wait. The minute has passed by, now we can go ahead and um, turn our Xbox back on. Now it's booting back up. So it booted back up, let me wait for it to load. There we go, now we can sign in to our Xbox account. Now we can go all the way to the right, go to system, go to uh, console settings, console name, dashboard, and it is now a 2.0.16756.0. So yeah, that's actually it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching it. Yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Calvin Keynes.